Alrighty, hello again. Uh, another little demo of my roguelike that I'm making for the seven day roguelike. Uh, let's just hop right in here. So oh, I, I guess here's the first thing. You can see um, various stats about, about your ship. Uh, I have no armor, which is bad. Uh, I do have some shield. Uh, this is the name of your ship by default. I, for some reason, why I drew that graphic, it was like hummingbird. I, I guess it's that long, you know, the gun looks like a little beak or something. Uh, and this is the number of points. And I, I moved your equipment down here, which never mind all this nonsense. You got points. So so let's play and I'll, and I'll show some things because last time enemies didn't look that interesting. Uh, but now they look a little more interesting. So uh, again, you won't start with this rapid fire heavy split blaster that was randomly generated. So first of all, the enemies wibble and wobble. That's kind of nice. Uh, second of all, these ones explode when you shoot them, which is bad. And third of all, you can actually take damage. So if you, let me hit some bolts here. You can see my little shield indicator up here dropping uh, as I take hits. Let's take some more hits. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And when the shield goes away, then I take whole damage. Uh, well, okay, once the shield goes away, you would take armor damage if you had any. And then once the armor is out, your hole is out. So the way I'm going to do damage in this game, I want it to be semi-forgiving, but not super forgiving, because roguelikes. Uh, the shield regenerates rather quickly, as you can see, and different shields will regenerate uh, you know, different speeds and have different maximums and all that kind of goodness. Uh, hits to armor will be permanent. Uh, so any armor that you've equipped, it will take damage, and that damage will never be recovered, short maybe of potions or scrolls, or you know those alien artifacts. Um, and worse still would be hitting your hull. So once you have no more armor, then you take hull damage. And if your hull damage, if your hull is reduced to, look at how much I hurt. Uh, what's going on? Anyway, once, why am I hitting that? Oh, there's some sort of hitbox problem. Anyway, once your um, your uh, your hull is is exhausted, then you're dead. Uh, but you can lose your armor in in your shield. So I don't know. I, that's is that I. Your armor, you know, you'll have to just switch it off if you, when your armor gets too dented, basically. It's, it's like a durability system, I, I guess. Um, anyway, so you'll, you'll just have to replace it with a new armor, so watch out. Uh, but hopefully armor drops will be, you know, I'll, I'll see how that works. It's possible I'll have to revise some of those things just for practical reasons. Um, and, and check it out. Now we can sector complete. Whoosh. Um, so let's play the next sector just because I want to talk about some other things. Uh, you'll notice my score. So what was I talking about? Armor doesn't matter. Let's talk about score now. Uh, the score is, you know, you kill an enemy, you get points, but you also get points for every enemy bullet that goes off screen. Um, the game is not going to be this bullet hellish as it is right now, right? I mean, this seems like too much unless it was like the last level or something. Um, and the problem is that there's only two enemy sprites right now. These uh the ones that are two enemy types, the ones that explode and, and the ones that don't. Uh, anyway, so every bullet that goes off the screen, every enemy bullet that goes off the screen is two points. You're kind of encouraged to get shot at, or, you know, the more shots going on, the more points you'll get. I thought that was kind of a natural and interesting thing to do. Yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't play, like, a ton of shooters. I don't know if other shooters do this. If they don't, I think they should. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. I was like, oh, I'm so clever. But it wouldn't surprise me if some other shooter out there has, has already done this. Um, so anyway, I think I think really that's all I have to show. Uh, we can see the enemies are moving now. You know, we have circle types. I don't think I had that last time. Uh, and, you know, they're animated and blah, 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 blah. Uh, enemies that shoot back, like, like to do different things, you know, new enemy patterns. That's kind of my, my next goal. Um, I want, uh, you know, I've already coded. The enemies basically are always holding down. I bet I hit that bullet. Yeah, that's bad. We'll have to fix that. I, I hit the bullet on the, on the dash out of the level. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I, it, the enemies are always holding down fire, basically. Enemies and players are, are derived from the same class, and, it, you know, they say, am I firing? If I am, check my weapons and, and do their thing. So it was really easy to just say an enemy ship is always firing, and then they'll be equipped with the same sorts of weapons that you can get. Uh, whether or not I'll have them drop the very weapons they're shooting at you with, I, I guess that would make sense, right? So I might do that, but then how do you get armor? Because obviously if you've killed a ship, it's got no armor left. Uh, so that's not very recoverable. So I might just make the drops be completely unrelated. Maybe there will be stores in between each level. I, I really haven't figured those things out at this point. Uh, stores would be reasonable. Um, something that I'm not going to show here because it would take too long is once you get through, you know, all the way to level 9 and do it again, it will play them in reverse. Uh, I tested it out by making it just insta level complete on each level, you know, from the very beginning. Uh, there are still some weird issues about 
the camera, you follow the camera, I mean, you get stuck on the edge of the screen when the level's going in reverse. Anyway, little bugs to fix. Uh, but that is my progress demo. Yeah, I spent way too long on that little level complete, whoosh, you know, that <laughs> animation, uh, probably than I should, but, but it's all good. We've got a lot of time left, and I'm really happy with the progress. Uh, you know, I don't know how many, like, truly cool, awesome features, you know, how super fun will it be by the end. I really have to emphasize the fun first, right? I, I, I want to make sure I get that in, uh, but I, I, I do worry about how how complete it will be after a week, but you know, maybe that can't be helped. I've got it's only a week. That's pretty fast. Uh, so, so I, I might just have to be satisfied with what I got. Uh, and it, there, you know, I can work on it afterwards if if people like it or, or whatever, or if I like it, whatever. Figure something out. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will hopefully have another demo video in you know another couple days.